but it's also pushing in a vigorous northwesterly flow over the southeast. Snow is redeveloping and falls will be down around 1,500 metres in New South Wales and Victoria. Another low pressure system from Western Australia is shifting into the bite. This will bring another round of widespread rain to the east. I, I'm just in constant awe of her. Her captivating beauty just, just locks you in, you know? It's her amazing yet scary ability of making you feel so empowered yet so totally insignificant at the same time. It makes her magnificent. She can take away all your worries in one instant, yet in a millisecond make you feel like it's your last. I think it's actually the, the pure act of weightlessness, just floating that allows you to escape the world just for a moment or two. You know when, when the water just goes over the ears and silences out the rest of the world? Allowing you to acknowledge your thoughts, yet letting them just, just, just float on by. My name's Tim Elwin. I am a photographer in Sydney on the Northern Beaches. You can find me pretty much every morning out at sea in the water with my camera, shooting the sunrise and shooting the surfers as they come past, wishing I had my surfboard as I'm watching them on these beautiful waves. Or I've got my surfboard and I'm watching this sunrise and wishing I had my camera. The rising sun, pushing its stunning colors through the morning salty air and reflecting off the expansive ocean, just makes you feel like you're being filled with liquid gold pouring into every corner of your body mind and soul it's just amazing i still don't know why he did it maybe he was in a hurry maybe he just didn't look i, I don't know he never told me Either way, his decision that day, it changed the way my family would live forever. The way my children would grow up. The things that they missed out on, trips, holidays, just kicking a ball, it's all gone. I knew I had to be the best version of me for my family, for my loved ones, for those around me, but, but more importantly, for me. And I needed to make that decision that it wasn't going to bring me down. I wasn't going to become an angry person. I wasn't going to take it out on people that don't deserve this. Taken out on them. I needed to scream. But I needed to do it in a different way. It was one of those light bulb moments. It really was. I was out there floating and I just needed to represent the juxtaposition between the intense pain that I get to the amazing calm that counteracts and just brings me back down. 
I thought it would be simple, I really did. You know, throw someone on a surfboard, push them out to sea at dawn, give them a couple of flares, get them to light them. Jesus, uh, it's taken months of planning. I needed approvals from council, the police, the Navy, marine rescue, notifying ambulance, fire station. It just, it went on and on. But then I needed things like two people to, to light the flares because how is Emma going to light one and then what, put that down and then light the other? So it, it ended up being a pretty big crew. And then the weather. I needed no wind. A bit of cloud was, was okay, but, but not too much. So I would had all the ducks lined up and then it was a waiting game. It was literally waiting for the right situation, the right calm at dawn to get everyone out there. And it came. And so I jumped on the phone, got everyone engaged, and we were there. We had a small, small window of opportunity. It only lasts 10, 15 minutes each morning that these beautiful colors, the calm comes through. Because as that sun comes up, everything starts to flow. The waves get bigger, the wind starts to pick up. And then it was lining up that, that perfect spot to actually do the shoot because I needed it with just sun and, and water. I didn't want, I didn't want headland. I didn't want things like that. So, so I had to map out the direction of the sun as it was rising over the horizon and, and that moves every day. So we had to make sure that what it was three months ago when I had this idea was different to the day that we were shooting. So constant tracking on that. We got to the morning. We had a date. I locked everyone in. We got down there, 5 a.m. But we hit a snag. The swell was much bigger than expected. It was hitting Manly Beach at about five to seven foot. And it was just too big to send the boards and the crew and the safety team out through that swell. So we had to split the team up when we decided we were still gonna shoot and move them down south, so protected from the, from the headland. But Toby and I had to hit straight through that swell because it was gonna take us too long to, to swim down into position. So Toby and I, we, we hit the beach in the center of the beach where, Jesus, the swell is, it's hitting hard and it's low tide and you've got, you've got a good 50 meters of, of waist deep swell after the whitewash just pushing you back. And it was two steps forward, three steps back constantly. And I didn't know if we were gonna make it. My leg was starting to get tired and sore. My, I'm carrying this bloody, four kilo Thor hammer that when it gets in that whitewash wants to just drag me back. It was, it was a struggle. It was just relentless, just pounding constantly. And I didn't, I didn't know if we were going to make it. I, I thought I was going to have to give up and I hit this moment of fuck you. Ultimately, this was yet another moment in my life. This was why I was doing this. This is why this image was so important. This is the flare. You either knock down or you get back up again. So I looked at Toby and he saw I was struggling a bit. You want a hand, bro? I got some on you. Broke through the wave and came out the other side to just calm. And there was the team. Everyone was waiting for us and there was the sunrise 
just, we had a minute and I was out of breath. I was seriously out of breath and I had to then instruct everyone and I had to just switch on and and get everyone in position. So I started, Em, I need you to over here and, and all right, Hoodie and Tomo, get the flares, get ready, get on each side and we're, we're lining everything up and like in position and the sun is just coming up. There's a bit of cloud on the horizon, but this is, I think this is gonna happen. I think we're gonna get it. And holy shit. When those flares went off for the first time, I almost forgot to take the photo. It was, I got it. I got it. I've got Hoodie and Tomo side by side and with flares ready to just burst. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, w I was confident that if the weather held out that we were going to get a good shot. I, I was, but this was just amazing. So amazing. Like these flares just burst out. There was sparks, there was smoke, there was flames, like flames. There were flames. And these intense, like M was glowing red. It was still dark. She was glowing red. And these lines of just flare reflections, two of them like railway tracks come straight for me. It was amazing and then I just bang started hitting the, the shutter and started to scream at the show like Woo, yeah and and I noticed everyone else was I thought for a moment that it was just me seeing these lines but obviously everyone in their different positions were also getting the same effect and everyone was just going mental. It was perfect. Okay, go. Thanks, man. Thank you.